Okay, so the first thing we do is we prepare our screen for the stencil by degreasing it. What that means is wet both sides. Spray your degreasing agent onto the mesh. With a soft bristle brush, work it around. And then on the other side, exactly the same thing. And just work it into the mesh. Okay. Now we let that sit for about 10 minutes so that the degreasing agent can soak into any dirt or grease that might be on the screen. Okay, so after a period of 10 minutes, we're going to wash the degreaser off the screen. What that means is just gently rinsing away the degreaser that we've put on. So we just wash down one side. Might just put it on a bit harder. There we go. Wash it off the other side. Now we need to put this screen in a drying room so that it dries before we try to apply the emulsion to it. Okay. So our screen is now dry and we're ready to coat it with emulsion. There are two sides to a screen. There's what we call the print side, which is the side we put down when we print, and the squeegee side, and that's the side we run our squeegee over. It's a good idea to stay away from top and bottom because top and bottom or back and front mean different things to different people. So if you call it the print side and the squeegee side, everyone will know exactly what you're talking about. Because this is a small screen, I'm going to do a one-handed method. If it were a larger screen, I would get some blocks of wood against a wall or something like that and I would angle my screen so that I can use two hands when two hands when coating. But because it's such a small screen, I'm just going to do it one-handed. If you begin, it is a good idea to do it with blocks of wood and two hands, just so you have more control. Okay, so we get our coater, and we pour our emulsion into the coater. The most important part of the coater is this edge here. This is actually the coating edge that will touch the screen. If there's any bumps or nicks out of this, we will see it in the stencil when we coat our screens. Okay. So we just fill the coater with enough emulsion. So we just fill the coater with enough emulsion to cover the screen. Now the first thing I do is I tip the emulsion onto the screen. Don't be too concerned about it going through to the other side. We can clean up any drips later. The idea of the coats on the print side is to saturate the mesh with emulsion. We want the emulsion to get into the weave of the mesh to make a stronger stencil. So we tip it on and then smoothly just straight up. When we get to the top, we pull the coater and the screen back so that the emulsion flows into the tray and shuffle it off. Now I'll show you one where I don't pull the screen back and I'll show you what can happen. Coating straight up and emulsion straight off. Okay, now you can see I've made a real mess here and that's because when I pulled the coater away, it wanted to stay on the mesh and in the coater and so it did this. If that happens, the easiest way to fix it is not to wash your screen out but without putting emulsion on, just scrape up on the print side, turn it around and scrape up on the squeegee side. And then we just start again. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna do a good coat. top, shuffle it off. Okay, now I've done two coats on that and I'm okay with that. This is a 32 mesh, that's metric 32 mesh. So this is designed for printing on dark coloured garments with opaque inks, opaque water-based inks. 
Okay, so I'm just scraping up the drips now. You can use a card, a piece of plastic, or a spatula from the kitchen. It doesn't matter, as long as it's not sharp. Now we go to this side. I'm just going to take a little bit off the bottom, and here I coat again. So once again, a little bit of pressure, tip the emulsion on, straight up, bring it back, let the emulsion back into the coater, and shuffle off. Tip the emulsion on, straight up, back, and let the emulsion get back into the coater, okay? Now I'm going to scrape up any drips that I have. The reason that we do this is for two reasons. One, because we're selling the screens and we want them to look neat. But also, because any big blobs are going to take a lot longer to dry than the rest of the emulsion. So we just get rid of them. Okay. Now, all of the emulsion, because we coated the squeegee side last, is sitting on the print side. This is where we need it to sit in order to make a good stencil. The stencil is actually an inkwell and we want it to be on the print side, the side we put down. When we dry the screens, we dry them like that. And the reason that we do it is so that all the emulsion does stay evenly on this side. Okay, so here you see the screens drying in their flat position. And this is specifically, as I said before, so that we keep all of the emulsion on the print side. We have a heater that's putting heat up. Now obviously, you won't have anything like this at home unless you build it. So what you can do is put a couple of bricks, normally covered in contact so there's no brick dust, and then put a little bar heater, put your screen on top of the bricks and let the heat go underneath. This will dry your emulsion a lot faster. Now that the emulsion is dry, we're going to put the positive on it for exposure. The positive is exactly as you want it to print. So wherever there's black, that's where there's going to go, ink is going to go down. We put the positive down what we call emulsion to emulsion. So the side of the plastic that the image is actually on is called the emulsion side. And that needs to face down onto the emulsion. Just so that we can move the screen around, we just tape in two corners. We're not trying to tape it down or box it in, it's just to hold it on while we're moving it. Now we're ready to expose. Place the screen, flat side, print side on the glass, put our air outlet in, and lock our table down and turn it back. Now we turn the exposure lamp on and we start exposing our screen. So just spread it on both sides to stop it from exposing. And because it's such a th thick stencil, we just leave the water on it for a moment in order for it to melt away. We wash out from this side, which is the print side, because that's the side that's hit the light, so it's the strongest side of the stencil. We only wet the squeegee side, we don't wash out from the squeegee side, because that's the weaker side of the stencil. Now at this point, if you have warm water, it will go faster, or if you have a pressure gun, but on low pressure, once again, that will take away this emulsion a lot faster. Yep.